Hello family. Welcome back to another edition of Dale Chanel's 48th World featuring the family affair. Child baby, we got another story to talk about. Yes, we do, honey. Celebrity Insider brought it out today on my feed. And honey, they talking about Miss Nene Leaks. Yes, Miss Nene Leaks in the house. That's what our featured topic is about tonight, honey. Got Ron Collins over there at Celebrity Insider titling his article, Nene Leaks addresses the cheating rumors floating around about her Greg Leaks. Fans are laughing their hearts out. I'm like, what? We got to get into this story. But see, that young lady, that beautiful young lady there, she was allegedly supposed to be fooling around with that handsome young man right there. That's Mr. Greg Leaks. If anybody didn't know, Nene's a little sidekick, her partner in crime, her husband, whenever she wants him to be her husband. <laughs> that damn Nene, she a trip. She is a trip. Now, if they got an open marriage, maybe it works for them. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking they got an open marriage. Cause ain't nobody in their right mind going to want another man to be, you know, feeling on their property. Okay? Their wife. And shout out to Straight from the A. Michelle Brown. Go over there and check her out. She is a bad mama jamma over there throwing out those handsome, salacious feature stories. And honey, she's a top blogger because she's out there with them. <laughs> she knows firsthand. She don't been to parties with Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore and all them other people. Candy Burris. Okay, no Portia too out there. So, yeah, she's walking around, around with the who's who, okay? But it just is what it is. Y'all go check her channel out and tell her Deb Chanel's 48th World. Sent y'all over there to see what is going on, okay? And then this picture, this your handsome young man. This is supposed to be Nene, Mr. Mistress. Or how do you call it? Her guy she's fooling around. Her side piece is how she's trying to say. Her and her husband Greg Leakes got side pieces from, from if you want to get it from Cynthia and uh, Kenya Moore. How's Elijah? Come here. Elijah. Okay. Just had to knock him out the door. And of course, Candy Burr, she might not say it on camera. She might allude to it. But she's in that same conspiracy theory that Kenya's floating around that Nene, that man, Rodney, is her side piece. And they've been kicking it. They've been kicking it like it ain't nobody's business. Oh, of course, you got Wendy Williams over there. She don't ask, she don't tell. It's, she, she just like Marlo. Hey, girl, whatever floats your boat, whatever, you know, lets you swim down the river, however you want to see it. Don't put me in it. I don't ask. I don't tell. I don't tell. I don't ask. You know what I'm saying? So that's how they are keeping it down, holding it down for Nene Leaks. They might see her flaunting this man around. You know, she's the queen. Uh, is She calls herself the appointed HBIC. I don't know if we agree with her. Some of us do. Some of us don't. Some of us just, just don't know how to float with Nene Leaks. Okay. Like I said, I don't have no pick in the bandwagon. Everybody can get on my good side. And then when they get got on my nerves and they putting fake foolery fuckery fraudulent shitty activity out there i have to call them on that i have to call them a spade so i'm saying hello to everybody how y'all doing out there in youtube land okay how y'all doing hello my friends hello my family my youtube family okay and and, and, and hey to the haters because hey y'all got to comment sometime too Sometimes you see it for me. Sometimes you don't see it for me. This is what it is. That's your prerogative. Do what you want to do. Okay? But you can't fly all over here. Don't think I ain't going to check you from a time or two. You know what I'm saying? Then I might have some of the family members. Just like, sit this one out there. But I get them. And I'm like, okay, I see them. I see them. I have a hitters. Leslie Barbara. Marisol, Miss Rita Hopkins, where are you? Where have you been, baby? I ain't seen you, Anna Banana girl. Where you at? It's a lot going on out there. You need to check in, Miss Av, uh, Amy. Come on back. I ain't seen you for a minute. Okay, don't it ain't no shame in nobody game. Just say, drop down, and say, hey, Deb, I'm still here. I'm still listening to your ass. Okay, I ain't gonna come in all the time, but I'll be still. I'm here. I'm here, honey. I'm present and accounted for. That's why I want to see here. Just chime me and say, hey, Deb. I just want to say, hey, okay. No, oh, it's a lot going on out of there, out in the world. I care. I care about y'all. Okay, I might not say it all the time, but I be thinking about y'all here and there, especially the ones that you know 
congregate with me, talk to me, and, and all that kind of information. Marisol, girl, hey. <laughs> Where's my PMP casing? Oh. Anyway, getting back to the story before I go on into the article that was written up by a con- columnist over there at Celebrity Insider. We just basically try to introduce these side people Nene and Greg keep trying to display out there for us. Now, you know, I think Greg is a more touchy-feely type guy. I don't think he can pretty much get it up anymore. He's just living his best life and this, that, and the third. And, you know, he wants his wife there so he can talk with her. I think they become buddies, best friends, comrades, if you will. I don't really think they are in that bed hitting it hard like they used to. I mean, Nene can stroke him a little bit. He might go up, then he go back down. You know, you know, Greg is getting elderly. He getting up there. So, there ain't too much that's going to really float his boat. You know what I'm saying? He might just want you to blow on it or touch it or whatever. You know, I don't think he's stroking it like that anymore. So, he may give Needy a pass here and there to go on and float. Go on and get with a man that can ride it like a choo-choo train for her. But come on back home. You know, they might give each other player passes. You know, like, what I don't see, you go do it. Just as long as you don't get back to me. Because if you get back to me, we're going to have some issues. And that seemed like it kind of helped or it kind of hindered Mr. Uh, Greg Lease when he called himself trying to go with one of Nene's employees at her shop. I'm like, damn, Greg, you that lazy. You couldn't go across the street. And, and flunk with somebody else in another boutique. You had to go and pay, and then he paying this lady. So you got to get your free ass and pay your ass at the same time. I don't understand. Okay. But then he caught up with it. You know, T got to spilling around. Now she was having a little, um, what do you call it? A business meeting with her colleagues, her subordinates, tr- trying to say what's going on. They're like, you don't know what's going on. You know, two employees getting into it and then Nene have to be collateral damage and it just falls at her door that allegedly Greg been having pillow talk with one of her employees. And of course it got thrown out of, you know, um, got thrown out of, what do you call it? Got out of hand is what I'm trying to say. Everything just got out of hand. And, of course, you know, Nene ain't going to be made to look like no fool. Now, she already told you what you do in the dark. Don't let it come to light. Because when it come to light, it's going to be hell to pay. Okay, heads is going to be rolling around this camp in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay? Because people know me. I know people. We ain't got time to disgrace me. Let me disgrace my own self. Okay? Because I can come on my own plan. But, don't, nah, you can't be going out here, old man, doing this kind of shit. Okay? So... Maybe it was a pay payback or playback or, you know, just to get a- a- even with Nene. Because he knew Nene was going out. And then he's this man Nene messing with, they supposed to be a friend of the family. I said, what kind of mess is this? Is this a menage a trois thing going on? I don't understand. But, you know, I'm like, hey, if you and Greg have decided, Nene, that y'all are going to have an open marriage. Because, you know, you had talked about it just briefly in season 12 and in season 11. If that's what y'all got going on, be it far from me to judge you. I ain't judging you, honey. I'm just telling you what these blogs are saying and just giving it to you on my perspective. Because you can't keep it in the dark. It's going to come to light. And you're going to have to have a backup plan of what you got to tell us. Because we're going to be looking at your window. We're going to be looking at your doorway for you to come out and give us a response. Because you know that's what we're going to do. And we're going to be waiting. But I like how Nene handled the whole situation. She turned it. She wrote her own narrative on this story. We was trying to paint about her and Greg <laughs> having side pieces. Honey. And then she got a little piece for us, too, to say she might be opening up a little bistro herself, a little restaurant where you can come get some appetizers, some drinks. And she probably have a little step and dance flow. Step in the name of love. Step, step, side to side. I know y'all want to mute him, but I don't care. He made some damn good music. All right. I'm ju- d- judge the person. Don't judge the music. Okay. That's what I'm saying, guys. But, yeah, she's supposed to be alluding to possibly going in business with someone or maybe her and greg are doing the business deal hell it might be on her, her mystery man i don't know but she's kind of telling us i know it ain't that mystery woman because she was already an employee of nini i know nini ain't gonna get her another job i don't know i wouldn't be surprised if she did though just to keep greg in shit while she gonna do what she got to do but that's just my pun intended okay not in the man article that we definitely finna get into but uh yeah that's another piece of information 
because I read this article basically before um, I got on the uh, YouTube screen and tried to talk to y'all. I got on the computer. You know, I usually don't go that far. I wait till y'all. I just read maybe the first paragraph or the title. Then I'm like, oh, shoot, we got to talk about this in the house tonight. But I ain't had nothing to do. And I was waiting to get off. And I said, let me just go and read this story. It can't be too bad. It can't be too interesting. You know what I'm saying? But hell it was. I said, damn, I got to say this for my family. I got to get that input. Okay. So I rushed home, did what I had to do. Cleaned up what I had to clean up. And I said, let me go talk to my family, honey. I got, first, I had to come on and talk to my biological family. See what was going on in their days and the comings and goings with all these rides out here. Uh, and they definitely need to be uh, rides out there because people of color need to have their firm stance over quality as well. We don't go on too far, too fast, and they just killing us. Well, we won't even be a race anymore. You see what I'm saying? So we had to stand up. Because they ain't listening to peace. They ain't listening to when we go to the polls. They ain't listening to that matter. So I guess you have to resort to some type of civil unrest. Okay? I don't want nobody to get hurt, but you know, hey, even the Lord had to put his people in the battle and blood was shed. Okay? But I'm just saying, that's just my point intended. That's me speaking. Okay? Don't let me throw nothing out to y'all. If it hits you and it strikes your spirit, maybe it was meant for you. If not, let it fly over, or pl- fly over you. Okay? Let it pass you by. All right? Those who can hear, hear. Those who can see, please see. All right? But let's get on into this story. We don't tear it a little bit too long. All right, but like I said, the story comes from Celebrity Insider. The article was written up by uh, Ron Collins. He titled his article, Cheating Rumors Floating Around. Her and Greg League fans are laughing their hearts out. Let's see what she's laughing about, y'all. It says, Nene Leakes was recently accused of cheating on Greg Leakes. And she finally decided to speak on the matter. All right, but her message had people laughing their hearts out. Let's see, okay. I know, but I'm going to bring it to y'all, okay. And so check out the funny message in which she's suggesting that she and Greg are both having side pieces, okay? Ain't time I know uh, K- Kentucky Fried Chicken with the biscuit and two side dishes. No, we talking about two side pieces, me and human beings. One for Nene, one for Greg. That's what we're going with. That's on my sidebar, not in this article. Okay, it says the bond is unbreakable. Everything else might break though, but not the bond. For real, though, we've been working on something very special lately. No, it's not our marriage, fool, because we both got side pieces, okay, with the little crying emoji. We've been working on something we hope to invite you into for cocktails, small bites, smooth music, and an amazing atmosphere on the north side of Atlanta. See, she keeping it. See, oh, I can't get with Nina. I'm like, why you can't come to the hood? Why can't you come to the low income people? Okay. Why can't you? Why well, why can't be smack dab in the middle? Like smack dab in the middle. Okay. In my DL Hughley's voice. But anyway, she gonna take it over there with an affluent side. When I say affluent, I mean rich side. I mean over there where we talking about Saks Fifth Avenue. Okay. We talking about Nordstrom's. We're talking about Louis Vuitton coach, Michael Kors, Lenny Square, my over there in that area, if you're familiar with Atlanta, Georgia, okay? The rich and affluent section. So, you know, it probably valet parking out there as well. So, I don't know if she's trying to cater just more so to the rich and famous or the people that got money, okay? She don't want no riffraff in here. This is my brother. Lord have mercy. Hold on. Let me call you right back. Okay. But, yeah, she told me she's going to open up something in the north side of Atlanta. And I'm just giving you some edification. If you don't know about Atlanta, Atlanta, what she's talking about is over there in her rich folks section. Okay. And most people say, oh, the rich white folks section. Well, I ain't going to say it's the rich white folks section. It's the rich black folks section over there, too. Okay. One don't go without the other. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Okay. Don't you come in here starting to know it. Okay, but going back to her little uh, write-up or Ron Collins' write-up on what Nene was expressing. She said, coming soon. Keep your eyes and ears open for that. P.S. Let us cheat in peace and mind your business, please. Uh, Hashtag life of the new uh, life of the leaks. Uh, Hashtag I said what I said. Hashtag the unstoppable hustle. Nene captioned her post. Now I'm like, okay now. All right, okay. Are we competing? Are we competing here? Because first, Nene, 
dropped her EP, her single, Honey. And then Candy came out shortly after before the reunion was over. She dropped her little EP out. I don't forgot what it, what it was called. Uh, was it He Was Mine or... I, shit, I don't know. That's how uninterested I was in it. Okay, because it's too close for them both to be coming out competing against each other. I mean, like, Candy, you couldn't have waited. You couldn't have waited till the summertime came and dropped yours. You, you had to shine on Nene's parade or whatever. Her fanfare. But anyway, moving on from there. I'm like, Nene, are you are you copying off of Candy and her restaurants um, and, and her friend's restaurant? The uh, Frost Bistro, you know, Rashida Frost is one of her uh, friends and probably business partners. Hell, I don't know. But I'm like, what, where are we going with this, Nene? Where are we going with this? You got the clothing store. And Candy had her clothing store before, but I think you had a boutique prior to even getting on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I don't know what happened when out of business, whatever, okay? But, girl, what's going on? I mean, I, I saw Portia doing her naked hair thing. Then we got Kenya out of the blue. She going to come up with her little uh, hair product thing. Then we got Marlo out there doing a the hair product thing. I, mean, I don't know where we all going with this. We got to get clothing, apparel shops. Then we got to go and get food joints, uh, catering to a certain clientele. I'm not understanding. I mean, at least I can't say that Candy. Her her stores are kind of a pricey from what I hear. I haven't went there yet. We was trying to go this summer, but don't look like it's going to happen this year. I'm going to wait for next year because I only go to certain places. I bring my ass back home because I don't want the corona. How do you young folks saying rona? I don't want her. Okay, I don't want her. So, and then we got this uncivil rest out here where people just want to just pop off and do God knows what out there. Okay. But it's all just so unsettling. So, I just do what I've been doing. Pretty much keeping myself on quarantine from the first quarantine that they put my ass on. Okay. I'm still abiding by that. But we're going back to the article. It said, uh, someone said, meaning a commenter, having side pieces in a relationship is healthy. And another follower laughed in the comments. I love your sense of humor. Side pieces. You know someone would take that and run with it. Now, I ain't, I'm not agreeing with Nene, even when she's joking with it, or whether she's telling the truth in a joking manner. Get a divorce, okay? Don't buzz hell wide open, okay? We don't need all this infidelity going on. If you and Greg just need to be friends, just break him off a little piece of money, set him up for the rest of your life, and just go and do what you got to do. You know, he have his little thing, you have your little thing, and y'all just keep y'all beautiful relationship. You know, you know, or you can still share the house, but y'all just be divorced. But this is my point intended. Family, what y'all think about it? Put y'all opinions in the comments, okay? Then we got another commenter said... The leaks are unshakable. To all the haters, take your energy somewhere more useful. These two don't need anyone but each other. Bloop. Okay. And I'm like, you know, where there's an action, there's always going to be a reaction. Where there's a pro, there's always going to be a con. I'm a firm believer. It's when you put yourself out there in the mass media, you're moving and shaking, you're making deals, you're... Uh, you're faltering in some of your deals. You're, you're excelling. You go bankrupt. You know, tit for tat. However, when you put yourself out there in social media world, you pin yourself in a, in pretty much in a fishbowl where people can come back and say what they don't like, what they do like, what they don't like, what they don't like. You know what I'm saying? So you get it. So if you can give it, you better be able to be, be, able to be on the receiving end to take it back. Okay? So that's all I'm saying. It shouldn't be any haters out there because everybody have opinions just like they have a butthole. You know what I'm saying? That shit come out of. Just a natural thing. We see things. We respond to those things. Whether another person like it or not, don't think you got to trifle on somebody else's opinion because they feel differently. Or they totally made you think about another whole scenario that you wasn't pleased with. So you want to just throw salt on their name. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I went off went off kill i went off the fence on that one y'all but okay i'm back i'm back but going back to um uh, uh, another commenter wrote in the article uh we both got side pieces what's understood don't need to be explained and a follower and another follower said that happiness right there when you can joke that's happiness right there when you can joke like that 
I'll be waiting on my invite. Okay. Another follow said, can't wait. Been looking for you every day. No, no, Nini. And another commenter said, they need to leave you the fuck alone so you can just live your life. Period. Now, see, there, there I go. There, there, there you go right there. Can't leave somebody uh, that chose to put their self in a fishbowl or an aquarium match, as I can say. You can't have it both ways. You can't be in a part of the limelight and don't think people going to make uh, assumptions. So, they're not going to put their two cents in on what you're doing on an everyday. Whether it... Um, whether it's uh, geared to them or not. You put yourself in the showbiz, the entertainment, the limelight. People are going to express whether it's negative or positive or just virtually unknown stuff. They're going to put it to you. So you got to be able to respond and do it with grace. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Or, or get, get a person together in the nicest way possible. Okay, but let them know that you cannot be messed with. Okay, but anyway, uh, going back to the article. It says one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta Stars fans said, Nene Lee, I love that picture of you and your husband looking so happy. Keep up the good work. Okay. Recently, Nene posted a video that managed to impress a lot of her fans to tears. You can check it out and see some of her fans and followers' reactions. Okay. If you go to Celebrity Insider, it gives you a link to where you can go check out those beautiful, marvelous pictures of the Nene Leaks. Okay. Or the haters can go over there and just tear up the platform however they see fit. You know, it, it don't really matter because it's still a click and a view, right? So you're still clicking on something that you know you didn't like by the title and probably who was the commentator. You probably didn't like it in the first place. And you just wanted to go over there and just say something, okay? And like I said, freedom of speech is a wonderful thing. But just know the other person that's controlling that platform can let your comment be seen or not seen it's their choice okay so, so who's really winning here at the end that's all i'm saying but family that's all i have for this particular video y'all get into it get down in them comments let me know what y'all thought about this situation with nene calling out some haters all right calling out the real narrative of the story that she's putting out for us to enjoy or not enjoy it doesn't matter okay She's the cruise ship captain on her own boat or yacht, I should say, because we're talking about Nene Lee. She only do first class stuff, all right? So, y'all determine. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about subject matter and the title tonight of the article we put out. Or we narrated on the article we found that was already put out, but we put out what's being on, okay? So, keep it on subject matter, not me, all right? But anyway, y'all have a nice evening and I will see y'all next video. But before I leave, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share the videos. Love y'all to pieces. Good night.